to Rishwaraj Classes YouTube channel. What is essential to crack any competitive exam? Is it necessary that you must know many things, lot of things you must know? Yes, to some extent it's correct that you must know maximum concepts, you must have maximum knowledge to crack any competitive exam or at least what is essential to crack that particular exam, you must know that. But instead of knowing too many things, check how much you are perfect in each of that concept. So only knowing is not sufficient. You must be perfect. You must have deep knowledge and you must know how to apply that each and every concept. So here on our YouTube channel, we make the videos of some shortcut tricks, some tips which will help you to crack your competitive exam, which will make your work easy. So in this video, we are going to explain one such trick and that is to find the digit in the units place if they give series of numbers to multiply. Means if you have three numbers, four numbers, five numbers, six numbers, whatever it is to multiply, we have to find what is going to be the digit in the units place of the final product. No need to multiply the numbers here. For that, we have one shortcut trick. Here, I will explain this trick with just two examples and later, after explaining those two examples, I will be giving three important tips regarding the same concept. So, to understand this simple trick perfectly, watch this video till end. And before I start the first example, before I start the explanation of this trick, I request all of you to subscribe our channel so that you will get the updates of such interesting, useful, important videos. So, let's start with this today's trick. Now, what I said, we have to find the digit in the units place. So, let's take first example. Uh, let's take 336 into 592 into 1589 into 30. Okay, these are the numbers. Now, no need to multiply 336 into 592 into 1589 into 13. So, what we have to do here, just multiply the units digit. 6 into 2 is 12. Take this units place. Multiply with the next units digit. 2 nines are 18. Now, take 8. Multiply with 3. 8 threes are 24. So, answer is 4. So, if you multiply all these numbers in final product, you will find that the digit in the units place is 4. Let's check one more example. 6892 into 1843 into 387 into 144. Okay, these are the numbers. 2 into 3, it's 6. 6 into 7, 6 sevens are 42. 2 into 4, 8. So, 8 is going to be the number in the units place of the final product of these numbers. So, no need to do the actual multiplication. This is how we can find the digit in the units place of the final product in few seconds. Now, as I said, after examples, I will be giving some tips. So, the first thing, as it's competitive exam, you have to make least use of pen and paper. So, here in such type of sum, no need to multiply actually on the paper and check. It's so simple. You can do the mental calculation and find the answer. So, the very important tip is make least use of pen and paper while solving such sums. So, for that, right from the beginning, you have to train your mind in simple mental calculation. So, now, let's see few more important tips regarding this same concept. Now, here, when you have few numbers to multiply, uh, 387 into 596 into 130 into 45. Now, if you find, okay, if you find any one number ending with 0, okay, if any one of the number, if it is ending with 0, then in such case, 
units place is going to be zero. No need to even multiply, no need to go for micro calculation. Straight away, if you find units place zero in any one of the number, units place of the final product is also going to be zero. Now the next thing. 197 into 131 into 35 into 69. Now here, if all the units places, if they are odd numbers, okay, if they are odd numbers and among these odd numbers, if one digit is 5, then the units place is going to be 5. All units places must be odd and one among them, if it is 5, units place is 5. Now, the last tip. Here, uh, let's see, 196 into 45 into 65 into 47. Now, here, if one digit, okay, if the digit in the units place of one number, if it is 5, and if you have one or more than one even numbers in units place, then the digit in the units place of the final product is going to be 0. Because here, 6, 5 is a 30. So, 0 is our one units place. So, 0 if we multiply with the other digits, our answer is going to be 0. So here, among the given numbers, if units place of one number is 0, units place of the product is 0. If all the units places, if they are odd numbers, and if one number is 5, then the units place is going to be 5. Among the given numbers, if one digit is 5, and if you have one or more than one even number in the units place, then the last digit of the product or the units place of the product is zero so to crack the competitive exams you must know such simple tricks so our youtube channel that is visualize classes youtube channel will definitely help you to explain such simple tricks which will help you to crack your exams and to get updates of such videos you have to subscribe our channel and my dear viewers please do share this video among your friends Thank you so much for watching this video.